We've shouted as long as we and loud as we possibly can for the freedom of our staff, and one of the reasons for that is the complete absurdity of the claims and evidence brought against them. We felt it was important to show you again exactly what was revealed in that Cairo court and what it doesn't tell you about our journalism. Go back to April 10 when the prosecution presented its first evidence. Now, it claimed the work of Mohammed Fahi, Bahar Mohammed, and Peter Grester had smeared Egypt's reputation. They'd apparently doctored footage and helped terrorists. But the only three videos shown had nothing to do with Al Jazeera. There was this, for example, a documentary uh, about Somali bandits. It was made by Peter Grester in 2011 when he worked at the BBC. There was a news report about horse welfare in Egypt. That was by Sky News Arabia. And footage from a press conference in Nairobi was shown too with absolutely no context. Also with no context, we had these images you'll see here from Peter Grester's laptop. Those are of his parents on holiday in Germany and in Latvia. Finally, though, on May 22, some actual Al Jazeera footage was shown. There were routine news interviews with politicians from the Muslim Brotherhood, a group which is, of course, now banned. But the court was also shown Grester's other reports about sheep herding and football. And finally, this. It's a pop video by the Belgian-Australian singer-songwriter Gautier, presented to the court. Just what this is meant to prove, well, who knows? But it all backs up what the likes of Amnesty International have said, that throughout the hearings there was simply no credible evidence on hand. Unfortunately, it's that very evidence which has left our three colleagues behind bars and the world asking for what?